Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Leo's new love tarot reading for the month of May. In this message, we're just going to tap right into the energies with a traditional deck. And in this message, Leo, we are going to look into the energy surrounding your person, how they feel about this connection at this time. Is there compatibility here? What are the challenges you may face? Is this a soul tie connection? And the outcome. Okay, we'll pull a few cards for your advice guidance moving forward and I will clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. Something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Leo, what we can see for you guys for the month of May. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to see? Letting your guard down. I feel like you're coming to a more stable place. A better understanding of self. That's what I see here. Okay. The energy surrounding your person is the world of completion. How they feel at this time. Balance. Devil energy in reverse. Something is needing to be released here. Mm -hmm. For the challenges you face is the Three of Swords. Is this a soul tie connection? Ten of Pentacles. And the outcome. Six of Wands. It's hidden here. Leo, we have the Knight of Swords. This card tells me there's a need for truth. This may also be that internal battle going on whether this is resonating with you or your person's energy but somebody is still going through a healing process here okay so we are going to clarify these energies what i see here is one one of you or both of you are completing a healing cycle okay there are still some things that are needing to be released most of this is already gone. Okay, most of this negative energy has already dissipated. But I feel that your person may still be trying to find a little bit of a balance, find their footing, okay, in this new way of thinking, new way of coming together in relationships now. Again, the roles can be reversed, guys, in these messages. So take it how it resonates. There is a deep connection here though. Okay, a very solid connection, a very stable connection. So let's dive a little bit deeper, clarify these energies here, Leo, for you. Please keep in mind the messages here on YouTuber General. They're not gonna resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, the decks that I use, all of that information is linked below in the description box. And Leo, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Clarifying the seven of wands with in reverse with the nine of pentacles is the five of swords in reverse with the six of wands. feel like your person here is is trying to find stability in their life. I feel like they're trying to find the balance, focusing on things that make them feel stable, calm, secure. Consistency is key. Let's clarify this world card. There's something that they're releasing. Okay, there's some sort of cycle. Maybe this was a new relationship or a new connection that they were experiencing, that they're releasing. 
I feel like this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is focused, is, is geared towards this completion of a cycle. There's something that they learned out of that ending, okay, that's helping them to come to a place of stability, okay, come to a place of balance. How they feel at this time, I feel like they're kind of really more focused on business, okay, work. Justice card tells me that they're, it's balance, yeah, but it's practical matters, okay? And they're really just focused on um, moving into a more stable place is all the message is coming to here, Leo. And what it tells me is, is there's been a, a, a really heavy lesson that's learned, okay? Um, this is probably something that's more personal than within a relationship between you and this person. But this negative energy needed to be released. This healing process had to take place before either of you would be ready for a connection like this. devil energy in reverse this could be a toxic behavior pattern maybe this was some maybe they work too much something work related that they had to release that was bringing them a lot of heavy energy into their life okay there's also an energy of heartbreak loss three of swords okay this is a very dramatic impression of that energy however it does symbolize loss it does symbolize heartache it can also symbolize a betrayal that they've experienced potentially with somebody who they've felt a deep connection with but i feel here an energy of maybe they've been closed off to a relationship for a long time and honestly probably had to go through that process to fully heal and prepare for the next phase so is this a soul tie connection you guys bring stability into each other's lives but there is also a defensive energy okay there's what i see here is two of swords in reverse taking the blindfold off seeing things for what what it truly is Okay, letting your guard down. Being a little bit more open, a little bit more vulnerable with one another. And even if that's just from a friendly space. Ultimately, I feel like there is going to be success had in this connection. Okay, clarifying the Six of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to come together beautifully. There are some things that you're needing to be released that they're going through, that they're releasing. That's very heavy for them. That's very heavy for you. So the advice here is not to rush it, even though there is a possibility that one, you you the other person or both of you could try to rush this because of this energy right here um, but the recommendation leo is just to take your time be open be honest you know build the connection okay and not sexually either more practically more mental based so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward here leo in this dynamic if you found this message has been helpful that it's resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all freaking amazing advice guidance for leo for the month of May in this dynamic. Please and thank you, Spirit.
Mm -hmm. Yes. What I feel here, Leo, is there's a need for communication. A need to open up and communicate. And I kind of already touched on that a little bit. But we see the clarification here in the cards. This is going to come together in time. If you allow it, you're open, you're honest. Okay, there is a potential for a future here. But you're going to have to focus on the stability, focus on the balance, being consistent in this person's life or being consistent in one another's life. What we see here, Leo, is this person I feel is closed off to connection right now. And it's taking them time to open up. But I feel here, if there is a sign that this person could potentially open up here to you, Leo, maybe see how it goes. Express yourself. Let's pull a soul journey message out. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. We have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choice for its own growth. Remember, you're never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart, and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness. You are responsible for creating your own reality. When a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself in its totality, free from judgment, only then will it find its true freedom. Every soul is unique and follows its own path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. Leo. What I feel here, I need to, to say, and I've said this in other videos, but it's calling to my attention right now is there's a need to make sure that this person is in alignment with where you see yourself headed. Okay, yes, there's a deep connection, there's potential here, but is this a person who you want to have that long-term connection with? Okay, in its totality. Okay, so the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. You have the freedom to choose. And I feel here you're definitely being called to make a choice. Um, so, but I feel here before you decide, the best thing for you to do is to be sure that this is in alignment with where you see yourself headed. So, Leo, your four truths message that's coming out is be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Beautiful, Leo, beautiful. So, Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.